Hey there, hunters and shooters, KristenForGuns.com. I'm so glad you joined me today on the range because I have an exciting new rifle to share with you. I love lever actions and I love American-made rifles, and this one checks the boxes. It's a 6.5 Creedmoor, the first time ever in a lever action platform from none other than Henry Repeating Arms in the Long Ranger. Let's take a look at this new rifle. Now the Long Ranger platform itself is not new. Henry's been making these for a couple years in 223, 243, and 308. But the one thing that hunters have been clamoring for is that long range cartridge, the 6.5 Creedmoor that everybody's going crazy about. And they answered the call of their customers in a big way. So what I have here is the Long Ranger in 6.5 Creedmoor. While the other chamberings are wearing 20 inch barrels, this has a slightly longer 22 inch free floated round barrel. We've got a slightly recessed crown there at the muzzle and typical of Henry, the nice American walnut stocks with the laser cut checkering. Just a nice looking rifle overall. It's kind of a matte bluing, so you're not getting a lot of glare in the field. And the nice thing is, which we like, made in America, of course, with the center fire here coming from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. You'll notice as we take a look at the Long Ranger here that we have a drop box magazine that's actuated by the receiver button here on the side. So you don't have to worry about having those spear pointed bullets or anything in a tube. You have the four round magazine with one in the chamber. So five round capability there. And it's a nice, easy to load mag that locks up tight. We like that and we like the way it feeds. The lever action like the other Henry's is nice and smooth. And in a nice move, they also ship a hammer extension along so when you mount that scope it's still easy to get to the hammer. You'll notice that our test rifle here does not have any iron sights but Henry does offer what they call a sighted model the same thing and the same price but what you give up then is the scope mounts so since we do not have the iron sights it came with a really nice set of Skinner scope bases so that makes it easy to get that optic mounted up. These are calibers in the lever action that are made to reach out there so I certainly like to have a scope and it's got just enough rise here on the stock that gets my eye nicely in line. One important point that I wanna talk about on the Henry is that lever action rifles are not known for having fantastic triggers. Now this trigger here on the Long Ranger is above average in that term, but it's still not exceptional. We're breaking on alignment trigger pull gauge between six and a quarter and seven pounds, which is a pretty stiff pull for a, a rifle that has proven that it can be very accurate from the bench. So I just wanted to make sure there that we're clear in the chamber and just take a look here at that trigger pull. So we set the hammer. And it's a clean break, but it is a heavier trigger. So just something to be aware of. But even so, we're still shooting easily sub minute of angle 100 yard groups from the bench. Check out this 100 yard target that we just shot with the Long Ranger and 6.5 Creedmoor. That's three shots. Each of these squares is an inch. So you're seeing easily sub minute of angle. It's very close to a half inch, in fact. We started out with the Winchester white box in 125 grain, cheaper ammo just to get on target. And then we switched things up to the Federal Premium. This is the 135 grain Burger Hybrid Hunter. So 135 grain bullets really did a number here on the target. And that Henry is just a really accurate, smooth shooting gun. This is first and foremost a hunting rifle. We also have on the American Walnut, a satin oil finish stock so you don't have anything very glossy and the checkering is aggressive enough and wraps around so that if you're hunting in inclement weather you've got plenty of grip on the gun whether you're using gloves or bare hands and it's the smaller lever but there's still plenty of room to get inside of there and work the action. The 6.5 Creedmoor, like the other long ranger calibers of the 223, 243, and 308, are not necessarily hard recoiling rounds, but Henry does still give you a nice soft rubberized recoil pad, which helps eat up the recoil. And what really helps, in my opinion, is having a heavier weight gun. While the long ranger is well balanced, it's still seven pounds even, empty and without a scope. By the time we put our mounts, our scope, and a loaded magazine, we're over eight pounds. This is not a light gun, but it's easy enough to carry a field with the included sling studs here. You can get a sling on there, throw it over your shoulder. What you trade off in weight, you get in a reduction in recoil and the ability to really stay on target. That's a nice shooting rifle right there. It's all smiles after a day on the range with the new Henry Long Ranger and 6.5 Creedmoor. I've been a fan of the 243 that I had in last year, 
But let me tell you, as far as long range hunting is concerned, this 6.5 is where it's at. It was an accurate gun, shooting sub minute of angle at 100 yards. We were able to stretch it out to 300 yards with excellent success. If we had one wish for the gun, it would be a slightly lighter trigger pull. That's the only thing that we're hoping that Henry will do. But even so, we're still able to shoot accurate groups and I have no doubt that this would be a wonderful hunting rifle. MSRP on the Long Ranger is 1066, no matter if you go for the sighted version or this one that we have that comes with the Skinner bases and regardless of caliber. Now you're getting an American made rifle that's built in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, is capable of some excellent accuracy and one that I think you'll enjoy in the field. If you're in the market for a Long Ranger, we have some in the warehouse at guns.com. You can check that out. Hit that like button, share and subscribe for more great hunting content coming your way.